What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, family? Hope everybody's doing well. As you can see on this beautiful Monday. It's a beautiful day today, guys. I don't know what the temperature gonna be, but I'm on my way to get some coffee. That's right, guys. I don't start till 930 guys. I'm gonna give you some coffee. What's up family? Today is Monday. Keeping it real Monday, man. That's what it's about, man. Keeping it real. Alright guys, those that pre-order your shirt, your hell no, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't give a damn Saturday shirt. I'll be mailing that sucker off on Friday. I supposed to get them on Thursday. I went melting. So Jeffrey, your shirt. I like a lot of people pre bowl Only I mean pre-order. Only one person pre-order. Jeffrey, I got you, man. I got you. I'm gonna send you another shirt. Um since you you didn't get um the size that you want. So you know. Let me know if 2X is too small or if it's too big. But well, it should be right. So I'm going to send you another 2X. And then I owe you a 2X because I sent you an extra large thinking that it might fit. But you said, I was laughing at what you said. <laughs> we don't want you squeezed in. Now, once you get this, I don't give a damn shirt. Um, I need you to send me a picture so I can put them in the rest of Put your picture with the rest of the guys. That took pictures for the shirts. Put your shirt on, man. If you don't want to show your face, you can do a neck neck down. I don't give a damn how you do it. <laughs> as long as you send a picture, man. I really appreciate it, man. You know, I'm trying to encourage the whole family to get shirts so we can just bang these shirts out on the day. Natasha B, what's up, girl? Natasha and Scott Biller, why they shirt faithfully? Scott Biller, I got to get you some more shirts, man. You, you probably don't wore the, black, the, the blue off that shirt. But if you don't know, the day is Monday. Keeping it real Monday. I got to keep it real when I get to work today. The hours we putting in is just unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. I got to keep it real with my boss, man. The guys, you know, the guys are getting burned out real quick. It's not a fun place to work at when you get burned out. <laughs> Almost scared to get people jobs there because the hours are so long. I don't want them to blame me. Like, Kingfish, man, you ain't tell me we was going to work 90 hours a week. Hey, man. Right now, man, Coke is doing that thing, man. I just can't, you know, it's just it's just a little too much for you, boy. It's time for me to find some day work, man. I've been on nights for 32 years, man. It's time for me to find some day work, man. Wifey tired of being home by herself. I do not blame her. I really don't. Normally, I don't make career moves because of somebody, you know? But it's time for me to make a career move for my wifey. You know what they say, man. Happy wife, happy life. Don't want nobody knocking on my door while I'm at work. <laughs> That's for sure. So sometimes you have to do things, man, just to prevent certain things. I ain't worried about nothing like that, but I'm just saying, guys. This is more geared to my younger generation. You got to listen. Woman keep telling that she tired of this, tired of that. You got to listen. Because one thing you don't want is to hear something they don't want. I told you I, like a hundred times that I was tired of that. That's why this happened. You don't want that to happen. You want to prevent anything from happening. Women the same with y'all. Y'all gotta listen to your husband. Listen to your boyfriend. When he say he tired of something, you got to listen. This is your 
generation, they don't care. They leave you with five kids. So not leave you in a heartbeat. We gonna get some candy. I mean some coffee. Alright guys, we're gonna talk about the club. When I go up here and get some coffee, I'm gonna part and discuss who's in what club and what to do to get in the better club. I did go up one. I'm in the 400 club. Last week I was in the 300 club. Natasha be in the um, 400 club with me. Well, I'm in the same club she was. She's in. So the goal is for the clubs, if you finish in five or six hundred club, your goal is to get into the next club, which is seven hundred. The club um, Sunday was bought up by my man, Lamont, aka Bamba Don't Break, man. Appreciate you, man. That was a good idea. So Sunday is Lamont Day, Friday is Darius Davis Day, Tuesday is my man Scott Villa Day. You know, tomorrow. Yes, man. I'm gonna do a club, I'm gonna do a club shirt too. Fam, dig into your pockets. Pull out twelve dollars and get a shirt. You feel me? Man, we had a uh, nothing but bad luck last night, man. We were scheduled to get done at one something, <coughs> but we lost power for over an hour or something last night. Just killed the momentum, man. It took a long time to get it up and running. And then the Wi-Fi went down. That took a while to get it running, man. By the time we got everything running, man, we lost like four or five people. We went from 1 o'clock, 1.15, getting done to 4 something getting done. Yeah. Generator said, oh, hell no, I ain't cutting on it. Just bad luck. Mother Nature. We had a storm that came through, man. Ooh. It was raining sideways, upside down. I mean, it was that rain that we was going to get drenched. Dag on it. I got a mosquito bite on my ankle, man. That's the worst place. Ankle and elbow and the finger is the worst place to get bit by a mosquito. Special old mosquito. Something about an old mosquito bite. When you get bit by a mosquito that's 60, 70 years old, man, with no teeth, oh, it, it just it's on you. Yes, man. How I know? I seen it with my own eyes. I seen a mosquito that with gray hair. He had a walker with him. He just walk right up my arm and try to bite me. I had to take him out though. I ain't care he was 70 years old. I just his reflexes were slow, so I, I was able to get him. Plus I felt when he landed on my arm. That's how big these mosquitoes are, man. So when they land on you, you better hit them quick. Y'all remember the real big uh, mosquito looking thing? They say it's a mosquito eater, but I ain't never seen it eat no damn mosquito. I'm paying to see that. A mosquito eater eat a mosquito. And I'm paying to see that. All right guys, I'm hoping that my, my um, English get better when I get my cup of coffee. Had a nine and a half yesterday. I felt good about the coffee because she was from corporate. She let me know that she was from corporate. She charged me for a, a shot of French vanilla swirl. It was funny, I was like, damn, I never got charged for French vanilla swirl. She's like, I'm from corporate.
corporate. I do things the right way. I said, go ahead, girl. I feel you. If you do everything the right way, I respect that. I have no problem with somebody doing their job. But she could at least got a 10. She got a 9 and a half. It was funny because I, I, when I went back and I asked the um, the girls that was behind her when she said she was from corporate, they was like, "We, I'm from corporate," you know. They was making that noise and when uh, talking behind her back while I was there, and I went back to get my cold shoulder. I asked them. They said she just she's the only one that went to corporate and got trained, but she said she let everybody know her customers. She said they they be working with her. And she's like, you don't do it that way. Trust me, I will, I went to corporate. You do it this way, and they just it just drive her crazy. It drive them crazy, should I say? <laughs> she want them tight. You can never do anything for her. She gonna let everybody know. <laughs> Can't teach her no shortcuts. She'll tell on you. I think Big Rick said he was in the 600 Club. YB said he was in the $30 Club. What the? What you doing? You say he didn't, uh, he didn't dash that much. I think Tom Mark. Uh, our time, Tom Mark said he was in the 600 Club. I'm just going off of what I remember. I'm going to let you know everybody club in a minute. Oh, man, don't tell me. I left my phone here. Or oh, did I? Doesn't matter. But today is keeping it real Monday, man. If you don't know how to keep it real on Monday, man, let me tell you how you keep it real on Monday. Anything that's getting on your nerves, you got somebody, man, that always asks you for a ride. Today is keeping it real Monday. Today you're going to tell them, look, man, not today, man. I'm just keeping it real. You ain't getting no ride today, man. You know? You got somebody that always want to borrow a dollar and whatnot, but then every time you go somewhere, they pull out a 20 and pay for this, but they always, they don't want to break their 20, so they want to borrow a dollar from you. Today, you're going to keep it real. Say, man, I'm not giving you no dollar, man. Break one of them 20s you you always pulling out, man. You run across somebody like me and Scott Bella who breath smell like they done tongue kiss a skunk. Today, you're going to tell them, look, man, you need to brush your teeth, goggle or something. I'm just keeping it real. I'm not trying to hurt your feeling. I'm just keeping it real. Your breath stinks. You know what I mean? It's how you say it, God. You can tell anybody anything you want to tell them, guys. It's how you say it. Unfortunately, I got that job, man, where I got to tell people about their hygiene and stuff. I just try to make it funny. But I have to tell them, man. I always make them laugh, man. Cause you got some people come to work already smell like they done ran a mile and I gotta be the one to go up to them and tell them man look man you gotta keep your arms down man you keep putting them up we're gonna have to get you arrested man cause your, your, your arms is like woo you know I hate telling people that man and it's funny because your homeboy is the one that's coming to me and tell me that you smell like you got a uh dead fish underneath your arm but he won't tell you he'll talk about you but he won't tell you he come to me and tell me so I got to tell you uh oh my homeboy in there let me go get this 10 guys I'll be back I'm back family I got a 10 today laying doing the dude miss talking about me and my my coffee told me I ain't no real coffee drinker cause you know I drink bad coffee good coffee Funky coffee. I just don't drink Dunkin'. I mean, Starbucks coffee. But Dunkin' Donut can't go wrong. You know, I rate Dunkin' Donut, but they can't go wrong. You know what I mean? So, shout out to my man Ryan, man, for making me 
always making me the best coffee, man. I don't know if you got a girlfriend or not, Ron, but I'm going to hook you up with Tyra. Because Tyra used to make all my coffees at the other Dunkin' Donut on Fowler. You and her, man, is one of the best coffee makers out there. So, Ron, I salute you, my brother. Keep doing what you're doing. Guys, if you want a perfect cup of coffee, go see my man Ron at Dunkin' Donut on Bruce B. Down, man. Tell him Kingfish sent you. You ain't gonna get no discount, but you'll get a perfect cup of coffee. That's my man Ryan. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you, man. I love people that take time out to do something right when they come to their job. The young man, he know all, all I do is throw up two fingers. He know my wife's cup and my cup, and the wife, you know, always said his coffee is good. So Ryan, once again, man, I'm shouting you out, man. Good job. All right, guys, I'm gonna pull up here. I gotta find some shade, cause you know we ain't got no AC. We gotta stay cool, you feel me? Family, if you don't know, I'm sending y'all subliminal messages. Hopefully y'all can uh, start contributing to my AC fund. <laughs> I was just kidding, family. We out here making money together. I know if you dash and you struggling just like I am. So I would never ask you for no money, family. I will ask you to buy a damn shirt. But other than that, family, my buddy, uh, he just started doing, uh, he just started doing YouTube and whatnot. Come on, we're gonna park in front of Starbucks and talk about people. I'm gonna mess with people all day. Let me get close. I'm gonna mess with people today. So I am. All right, guys, we front, we sitting in front of Starbucks. If somebody come by me today, I'm going to let them know that Dunkin' Donut is the best coffee in the world. I'm going to either start a fight or a riot. Oh. So we're going to do the clubs. Oh, I forgot. I, I left my phone at home. Gee, be crispy. Did I leave my phone? Yeah. I'm supposed to start at 9.30. Oh, Send my wife a text, extend my time. To 10 o'clock. I'll make this video. Anyway, guys. So if you don't know, Sunday is Club Sunday. You let us know what um, club you in. And, um. Uh, we announced it on the day, but I left my phone home, so I got to go off of memory. So I know me and Natasha's in the 400 Club, Rick is in the 600 Club, Bimba Don't Break, I think he said he was in the 600 Club. I'm not for sure. But Kari, we need to know what club you in, man. But yeah, guys, the, the whole key for the club is to get you to get into the next club. So Natasha... I'm challenging you to get in that 500 club with me next week. I'm gonna try to get 500 club. I'm starting off at a bad foot. So land on the dude. I'm in front of Starbucks. And my job today is to convert Starbucks drive, I mean Starbucks coffee drinker into drinking Dunkin' Donut. I don't know how well it's gonna go, but I'm gonna tease some people if they come by me. Yep.
I gotta wait till people come by me. I gotta tease them. We teasing people today, guys, if they come outside. See, they stay in there, they use the internet. That's the only reason why they're in there, because it's free internet. <laughs> she looked too mean. I ain't gonna mess with her. She about to mess her boyfriend up, her husband. Uh oh, he put his hands like, okay. Hit him! You know, we got to mess with people. Don't nobody come out, man. They just stay all up in Starbucks all day, man. I think they drink their coffee for the, the Wi-Fi. Dunkin' Donut have Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi, just like Starbucks. But I got to find out why. I'm just watching these these people. You know. This one guy, every time he take a sip, he spit it on, spit like he's smoking a cigarette. That's cause it's nasty. Don't nobody get close enough to me. I got to find out why. Why did you burn your taste buds? They get out the car, they serious. They look like they gonna kill somebody. I don't know guys, this might not be a good idea. People at Starbucks don't look happy, man. She look like a strong mother. She out here moving their tables and furniture and stuff. See, Trini, when I want to mess with people, they don't come out. I got a car beside me. I got, I've been sitting beside this truck and I've been sitting beside this car. And they, nobody come out yet. I don't want to get jumped, so I don't want to get too close. Oh, jeez. Is that a he or a she? I wish y'all could see what I see. I have no tips for the day. My tip for the day is go get you some Dunkin' Donut coffee. Dunkin' Donut coffee is the best coffee in the world. Trust and believe me. This went from a Dunkin' Donut um, commercial. The study Dash and we talking about coffee. I know that sucks.
But we don't have no order. I left my phone home. I asked the wife to extend it to 10 o'clock. So I'm going to go home and get my phone. But family, we're doing a podcast this Saturday coming up. This podcast is going to be talking about life after death. How do you cope with losing someone when you think it's your fault? How do you cope with that? We need to talk about that. I blame myself for my my cousin's death for 20, for, um, I'm sorry, yeah, 25 years. I felt like if I would have stayed home from work, if I would have did this, I would have did that, he wouldn't have died. You know, he wouldn't have lost his life. But when I finally realized that it wasn't my fault, I was where I was supposed to have been at, at that particular time. It was a, I was able to cope with the death a whole lot better. Still haven't got over it yet. It's been a long time. I can't understand why these women, these women are meant from table to table, just moving furniture. I guess they want to be in a certain spot. So I, I see that I'm not the only one. Oh, they want to be in the sun. It must be tan. I see I'm not the only one that had trouble with the app, guys. This app was terrible this week, man. I lost six orders this week, man, because of the app. Since they did an update, I ain't been able to get no, uh, I wasn't able to get like six orders. It has showed me that I have an order, but it won't let me select the order. And I see Natasha says she missed some orders because of the app. I don't know what it is. Yep. I'm waiting for these two people to come out so I can mess with them, but they're not coming out. Starbucks must have 5G Wi-Fi. <laughs> the internet must be real fast because these people don't never come out. So I got to talk to Dunkin' Donut, man. We got to get 5G. We got to compete with Starbucks, man. Because I know it's, it got to be good internet because the coffee sucks. <laughs> All right, man. I'm just messing with you, baby girl. I love Starbucks coffee, man. I love talking about it. I just don't love drinking. You know? That's a big pro. Well, Trini, don't look like we're going to mess with nobody today. But this place, this this spot I'm in, guys, feels so good. I don't even want to feel like moving. I don't feel like moving, man. Once again, I want to shout Ryan out. He's in the same class as, as um, Tyra. I get a perfect cough, cup of coffee every time I go to this young man. So we want to shout you out, Ryan, for doing a wonderful job, man. Hooking your boy up. Because I need to attend today, man. This is Keep It Real Monday, man. Well, I keep it real. You make good coffee, homie. <sighs> yep, I would have been in the 500 Club this week, guys, if Starbucks... I mean, not Starbucks. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Can't get them out of my mind. If DoorDash app wasn't messing up, man. Yeah, it was. It would say I got a ten dollar order, and then it would uh, wouldn't let me get the order. Yeah, she just came out of Starbucks. Now she back. She look like she mad. Ah, oh, that napkin flew away. She looked pissed. 
Oh, guys, when you don't have AC and you got a nice shady spot, man, it feels so good right here, guys. Oh, I wish y'all could feel what I feel. Cold air. I ain't felt cold air in a long time. While sitting in front of, I mean, sitting inside a big berth. I can't wait to this weekend, man. I see cars pulling up, but they ain't coming out. Now I know why you like um, Starbucks land doing it, do. They got 5G Wi-Fi. They got fast internet service. Don't get donut. We probably got 4G. <laughs> All right, family, let me know what club you're in today. If you missed the um, video yesterday, let me know what club you're in today. Mm. I need to get in that 500 club. I need to get back to the 800 club, but I don't work enough hours. I mean, I work too many hours. And I promised the wife that I was going to slow down a little bit. She looked pissed there. I'm going to sit at a hotel down. All right, family. I couldn't mess with nobody at Starbucks. They go in, but they don't come out. I don't understand that. But we are out. We are out of this train. We are out of here. I should have screamed, don't get done, I made the best call. I don't want to mess nobody day up. All right, family. I'm so upset I left my phone home, my other phone that I used, so I just had to let the wife know that I extend my time. Do keep a backup phone just in case something ever happened. That's a good. That's a good um, idea too, guys. I want to turn y'all on to something. I keep a prepaid phone where I keep minutes, uh, just in case something happened. Like I leave my phone and stuff like that. I always have a phone on. Me, you know, it's good for you ladies too. It ain't good for the guys because, you know, we be giving the phone number to girls and whatnot. But for the ladies, it's good to have uh, uh, another phone. Sorry, guys. I, I ain't trying to say we always bad. I'm just being honest. You give a brother another phone, boy. <laughs> he he, he going to get that number out. Don't call me on this number. Call me on that number. <laughs> the most embarrassing thing, man, that I, I have done it, is try to hide a phone, forget that you don't cut the ringer down, cut the ringer off, and that phone start ringing. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, Lord, Jesus, I hope she don't hear it. And the wife would be like, who, what, what is that noise? Is that another phone? I'm like, girl, that's on the radio. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I go use the bathroom, come back out, she be in the car looking for the phone. <laughs> yes, sir, I'm glad them days is over with. Live right, live right. <laughs> yeah. That's the truth, guys. 
No more phones for me like that. My second phone is for emergency use only. All right, fam, I got to go, man. I ain't, I ain't getting no order. I left my phone home, so I got to go back and get my phone. I started, I supposed to start at 9.30, um, but I'm going to start at 10 o'clock. Hopefully, I get some orders. But today is Keeping It Real Monday, guys. If you missed yesterday's video, please let me know what club you're in. I need to know who's out there making more money than me. You know? There's nothing wrong with that. I want to see everybody make money. I want to get in the seven and 800 club. I'm in the 400 club this week. I'm pushing for 500. So, Natasha, let's do it together. 500 club this week, all right? Tamara, what's up? Lynn, doing the do. How you doing? Shouting you out, girl. Everybody that rolled with me on Saturday, I want to shout you out. I don't remember everybody, but the whole I'm shouting out my whole Saturday live crew that hung out with me the whole time. But family, I got to go. I'm sorry to support a video, but I don't have an order. I don't have too much to talk about. I'm going home and getting me some rest because your boy is tired. You feel me? I had a long night last night. So I got to go, guys. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Peace, family. I love you. Go get some Dunkin' Donut. It'll do you good. Peace.